Hey guys, so I have a package over here of some feeders that I've kind of always wanted to try to feed my tarantulas and by the title of this video, you guys probably already know what it is. But yeah, let's get it opened and let's show you guys what we have in here. So we've got nice bubble wrap over here, which is good. I really, really like this packaging. I'm not going to be showing you this because my address and all is on here, so that can be at the side. Let's get this opened. Ugh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we have over here, they're pretty much maggots. Also known as soldier flies or I think phoenix worms. Yep, these are what they are. I'm going to be trying to feed my slings these and see if they actually like it. So I have got one, two, three, four packets over here. I ordered 50 grams, I think. And this is how they were packed up. Wait, no, I didn't order 50 grams. So there's 30 grams, 20 grams. 30 grams and uh, 30 grams. So that makes it 110 grams, I think. I don't know, my math, kind of bad. <laughs> so yeah, these are the soldier flies. Let me open them. I have not held something like this before, so I'm kind of nervous because I am kind of a little bit squeamish when it comes to maggots. So yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. And if you guys are wondering what these things are inside, the seller mentioned that it is their food. So, yep, let's get this opened and see how... Ugh. Let me smell this. Yep, that does not smell good. But yeah, these are pretty much... Ugh. Ugh. These are pretty much the so-called maggots, also known as phoenix worms, I guess. Oh, this is the first time I'm holding something like this. And I actually thought they were slimy. They're not slimy at all. It's pretty amazing. That is crazy, man. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail? I'm actually gonna grab a lot, a whole bunch, and put it on my hand. Oh, look at that. Yo, this feels super gross and weird. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that is kind of disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So a lot of them are fat. Like there. Yeah, a lot of them are actually fat. And some are skinny. So yeah, these will be for the smaller tarantulas. But this is something new to me. Have you guys fed your uh, tarantulas with these phoenix worms before? If you have, let me know in the comments below. But as for me, this is going to be my first time. And yeah, I'm real, really curious as to how the tarantulas react. So the feeding video will be the next video. So stay tuned for that. For this one, I'm just going to be doing the unboxing and showing you guys what we have today. So, ugh, what are you guys doing? Actually, you know what? I'm also going to try use these things as fishing bait. Yep, I think that will be, I don't know, worth a shot. So, yeah, I will do a fishing video on this and I'll post it on Beyond the Lair. So, stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it, I guess. This is kind of gross. I really have no idea what these food are made of but they don't smell the most pleasant they they kind of smell like uh you know mealworm poop when it is wet that's why it's kind of gross and i really do not like the smell the seller did say that i can leave them in these containers but you know what i'll put them into a bigger container all of them and yeah you know what let's do that and we'll see how many we actually got i mean how much we've got because i'm not going to be counting them obviously there's a reason why they pack them in grams and not quantity because yeah, it's gonna be a real pain trying to count how many there are. So yeah, anyways, I've got this critter keeper over here and I'm going to be pouring all of them into this and let's see how many we've got. So here goes one. Whoa, oh my gosh. That is actually a lot. I shouldn't have bought this much. But yeah, let's open the next one. Okay, so this one is also 30 grams. Wait, was this 30 grams? Yeah, I think this was 30 grams as well. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of phoenix worms or also known as like I would like to call them maggots. All right, so this one is 20 grams and oh, 30 grams. Open, open, open. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Ugh. No, please don't make a mess on my carpet. There we go. Wait, they're called black soldier flies. Okay, so here goes 30 grams. Okay, so next up we have got 20 grams. I can't find the opening part for this one, so let's snip this 
and tear off the there we go i'm curious what these guys are like the best for nutrition i'm gonna have to google that but as for now my job is to open this to put them in here so we can do a feeding video in a couple days okay so we have got the last container opened there we go and the good thing is everyone seems to be alive i don't seem to see any dead ones so that is awesome so yeah this is what 110 grams i mean obviously it's including the food but this is pretty much what 110 grams of if you would like to say maggots like yeah i would like to say that of these phoenix worms wait no with their black soldier fly uh, larvae so yep let's see there they are let's now i can actually yeah i think this would be better for a thumbnail i can grab more this time oh look at that oh wait no can't really see them but yep <laughs> look at that that is insane <laughs> i can't believe i'm doing this like literally before this i was super scared and like squeamish of maggots and now i'm just doing this what the heck is wrong with me like <laughs> i seriously have no idea what the heck is wrong with me but hey we've got more different kind of feeders we've got a variety now because usually we feed my tarantulas roaches we have fed them beetle grubs but now we're gonna try to feed them maggots can't wait to see how this goes and i guess you guys gotta just stay tuned for the feeding video so that will be it for today's unboxing video hope you guys enjoyed yeah look at that beautiful hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the feeding video in the next video yeah probably after this uh not right after this but you know my my schedule's on wednesday and sundays so yeah stay tuned for that i'll see you guys in the next video take care as always have a good one peace and before i get comments saying oh why are you not so excited in this video okay apologies i'm just trying to be more how can i say more sane in my videos now because previously i used to be i mean when i started videos i used to be like so super shy and super nervous and super sane but after a while when i got comfortable i started to go a little bit crazy and people were like um maybe you should try being sane again maybe that because that's more calming so yeah i'm gonna try to do that if you guys like me to be more crazy again then let me know in the comments below if you want me to be more sane and just chill let me know in the comments below as well so yeah guys i'll see you in the next video peace and of course as always i make a mess on my carpet are you serious Oh yeah, quick update on the black soldier fly larvae. Uh, as you can see, hi Zena, Zena, hi. But yeah, as you can see, I've transferred them into this critter keeper over here because the other critter keeper that I had them in, they were escaping from the holes of yeah, that enclosure. So put them in this one. They are still doing super well. Yeah, I've already filmed the video of me feeding these tarantulas. The video is already like scheduled, so stay tuned for that. But then I just wanted to show you guys that there are some black soldier flies over here that are black. Like, look at this. They are black, but they're actually still moving. I don't know if you can see very well, but they are still moving and according to the seller you see over there all the black ones they're still moving but yeah according to the seller he mentioned that those black ones don't worry about them because they are starting to pupate into black soldier flies